Having a SnapDocs account not only allows you to receive signing opportunities from companies that use SnapDocs, but also helps you manage all your signings in one place. This can include signings you receive from clients who do not use SnapDocs. You can use your SnapDocs account to keep track of signing opportunities that you receive from clients who don't use SnapDocs. To add a signing you receive from an external source to your account, just click on the Add a Signing button in the upper left. There will be an order form to fill out. You can fill out as much or as little of this as you want. But in order to manually add a signing to your dashboard, the minimum needed to create the order is the signer's last name. And you can see that here that says the consumer's last name is required. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in the last name for this signing. This is for, let's say, Kathy Miller. You can put in a mobile phone number, a home phone. Uh, you can also add a work phone for the consumer, as well as an email address. If there is a co-signer, you can go ahead and add them in as well. You can also add in a signing address. I'm just going to put in a random address in San Francisco. Uh, you can also put in the date of the signing. I'm going to say this is tomorrow at 10 a.m. And my client for this order, uh, so this is a list of companies that I have manually added to my account. This is my client list that I've added in. So I can select from any of these clients that I've added or I can choose to add a new client. I'm going to go ahead and say that I am doing this with First Title Company. And you can also fill in a contact person if you have added in any contacts for your, for your client. I have one contact at this company, that's Ashley Lambert. If I have other, uh, other contacts at this company though, I can just choose to add a new contact right here but I'm gonna go ahead and say that my contact at First Title Company for this signing is Ashley Lambert. And my fee for this was $100. You can add in a lender or a title company um, and a file number. I'm just going to put in a file number here. You can also choose to add in any notes or special instructions. Uh, so I'm just going to leave a note to myself to, uh, contact the consumer to confirm the appointment. I also do want to point out that any manually added orders are completely private to you, which is why it says this order is private in the upper right corner. That means that only you can see these signings. Companies that are on SnapDocs cannot see these signings and your clients do not get automatically notified if you choose to add in a signing and add them in as the client on the signing. It is completely up to you as to whether or not you'd like to involve your client in this as you add in signings to your SnapDocs account or as you work on signings through your SnapDocs account. We will never contact them without you explicitly deciding to do so. Uh, so one last thing, I'm just going to add in a phone number for Kathy Miller so I can contact her to confirm the appointment. And once you have filled in as much as you'd like, just click the Create Signing button to save this signing. And again, while I have filled in quite a bit of information for this order, all you really need is the consumer's last name in order to create a signing and add it to your account. I'm going to go ahead and create this signing. All right, and here is what a manually added order looks like.
Putting in more information allows you to fully take advantage of all the free tools we offer to help you manage your signings and clients. But you can still use SnapDocs to keep track of your signings if you're concerned about the privacy of your client or the loan signing information.